हेलो विशाल एंड वेलकम टू द के एम एफ इस वीडियो में एन आई टी के बारे में हम डिटेल्स में जानेंगे वहाँ पर सिलेबस क्या है फैकल्टी कैसा है और वहाँ पर प्लेसमेंट का क्या स्कोप है ये सब हम डिटेल्स में जानेंगे मगर आगे बढ़ने से पहले अगर तुम ये चैनल पर नया हो तो चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर देना और तुम हमारे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा फ्रेंड के साथ शेयर कर देना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक दीपिका फॉर बींग बाई आर साइड Hi everyone myself Dipshika currently pursuing MSc organic chemistry from NIT Warangal I've completed my first year here today I'm going to discuss answers of some important questions related to NIT Warangal In NIT Warangal here are two specialization one is in organic chemistry and other is analytical chemistry I think from this session they have mentioned in the counseling uh, MSc chemistry only yes there will be specialization in both organic and analytical but the student will get their subject according to their choice and grades whatever they will get in their first year means those who are having higher grades their choice will be prioritized so no need to worry both are having same placement statistics and abroad phd selections and both have same importance it depends on individual interest which one wants to pursue and if i'm talking about the syllabus first sem will be common for both means you have to study all subjects like analytical topics physical chemistry inorganic and organic in uh, second sem four subjects are uh, common and uh, there is uh, one elective course where students have a choice what uh, they want to choose analytical topic or organic topic and uh, then in the third semester there is complete specialization like uh, for organic students there will be organic related topics only and uh, two electives are there same for analytical people and uh, then in the last semester fourth semester project work will be there along with uh, some uh, theory subjects and if i'm uh, talking about the syllabus here uh, syllabus is designed in such a manner that uh, it will help you to crack csi are net and gate examinations also means uh, those topics have been covered in syllabus only now coming to research perspective uh, in uh, project work in uh, last sem uh, in project uh, work you will learn things related to research uh, properly yes uh, here professors teaches us theory and its application part also and if uh, i'm talking overall about research here i think it's not that much good but currently it's not that much good but uh, it's uh, growing nicely if uh, someone asks from me what's the best part in nit warangal i would say that it's the faculty only professors are very good helpful and supportive any time you can discuss your doubts or any other problems professors will definitely help you for the recommendations if you want to go for abroad phd studies or any internships recently uh, three of my seniors got uh, selected for the abroad studies in the final year of msc only for the faculty is very nice if i am talking about the summers uh, afternoon temperature is quite high but uh, morning and evening weather is uh, nice and uh, in uh, winters not that much uh, cold here weather is uh, nice in winters not that much cold yes hostels are available for both girls and boys but uh, in comparison to boys hostels uh, girls hostel are no, not that much uh, good like in uh, single room accommodation they are giving that room for two girls so having little they are having little difficulty to manage but uh, boys hostel are good and uh, mess food is uh, fine special facilities uh, i would say is the free medical facilities for all the students of nit warangal which is quite good you get uh, ambulance services free medical test and medicine but i wish you never come across this facility at any point of your nit warangal journey and uh, free wifi is available for all the students yes there are some disadvantages also like uh, 24 hour reading halls are not open for girls hostel facilities for girls are not that much good and uh, one thing what i feel if uh, someone wants placement 
then uh, he or she should join NIT Varangal here because the uh, placement is quite uh, better than research perspective here. In between semester, it will be little difficult for extra competitive preparations, uh, but uh, it also depends on individual also how he or she is managing. Like uh, Saturday and Sundays are off, so they can manage, but uh, quite little difficult. Once your exams get started here, you will find less time in whole semester. Like uh, first minor one, then uh, mid exams, and then minor two, and then end exams with the lab records also, and then end skills, and then semester will be over. So you don't, uh, you have no time. As you have to focus on your grades and competition also, so it will be a little difficult to manage. And uh, one more thing. If you are thinking uh, I will skip classes, I will uh, focus on competitive exams only, then uh, you will find difficulty to attempt semester exams because mostly teacher will be going to ask in exam what teacher taught in class related to that, those concepts only. But uh, one thing is good I want to add here, syllabus. Syllabus is designed in a beautiful ma manner that uh, it will help you to crack CSIR net and gate examinations if someone concentrates well. And teachers suggest books uh, that would help you to crack these exams for sure. And uh, that's the good point here. And uh, with the, your extra effort, you can crack this, these exams. Regarding placements, uh, I would say that almost 90% of the students who desired of getting placed were uh, placed in the academic year of 2022 with the total number of uh, placed students being 21 and uh, average package is 7.2 LPA with the highest package of 12.5 LPA and uh, lowest package of 5 LPA. Many edutech companies visit our campus and uh, hire MSc chemistry students and even some core companies as well. So there are large number of opportunities provided for the students. They can grab it to their fullest and uh, give their best in the interview. Thank you so much. Hopefully I've covered all the points, uh, important points uh, related to NIT Varangal. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity.